my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and we're just going to do a quick update on the Frankamac here. And um, as you can see, uh, this is all just temporary, okay? I got the monitor just hanging in there literally because I'm doing some tests on it. Um, I'm making a uh, mask for it so there'll be a glass in front of it that'll be uh, blacked out so you won't see the insides of it there. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a few more things here. Let me reset the tripod here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so you can see the screen is powered up and uh, we're going to do a uh, live uh, boot up here. So I'm going to turn the power on and we're going to hit the button on right here. And uh, so it's going to be booting into Catalina. And like I said, I got lots of wires and stuff I got to get wired in or permanently make some cables but I just thought I'd let you uh, see what it's going to look like here and uh, we're going to uh, let the screen boot up here and let me uh, move the light here a little bit here too move this over here let's see there we go I think you can see that okay there. Actually, move it over here. There we go. And it's booting into Catalina. And uh, yeah, guys, you can see the uh, activity light there is lit up there. We got the IR sensor all hooked up on it there. Looking pretty good. And uh, I got to take care of the password here. I've got to reset it here. I thought I had the password turned off of it here. There we go. All right. Now we'll be uh, booting into it here. And there we are. We're in Catalina. And uh, like I said, the screen is it's going to be about as much bezel on each end. Right now it's kind of leaning backward. Um, and uh, it's kind of shifted over. I got to pull it this way a little bit, but uh, yeah, so it's uh, looking pretty good there. And I'll just kind of give you a sneak peek here of, of the scariness that's going on inside of it here. Um, we'll let this drop down here a little bit here. So kind of this is just, and like I said, guys, this is just uh, the monitor is just. I just got it hung in her Velcro. That's all. That's all going to be different when we're done here. That's just temporary. But I've got the optical drive plugged in it. I'll uh, work on this cable here to get that taken care of. The uh, power cable for this will be all wired into here, and the plug will be up here. The cable will be routed on this side here, so it won't be dangling out the side of it. Um, this HDMI cable, I haven't got the proper one yet. So when I get the proper one yet. Um, it'll be like a ribbon cable so it'll look pretty good and you can look in there and you can see the uh, Mac Mini in there and uh, let me just uh, do something here so here you go guys so you can kind of see inside here let me just uh, back this out a little bit there and you can see there's the uh, Mac Mini running you can see the SSD in there it's a Samsung, it's a 250 gigabyte um, story to that. But anyway, again, you can see the wires are kind of hanging all over the place or we'll get those all cable managed really good. There's the uh, airport antenna there and there's the Wi-Fi antenna. So that's all hooked up and, and secured. And uh, it's fuzz out of it there. And then I'll take you to the back and you can kind of see this is the uh, I.O. port there. I've got it on the optical drive there that runs the, the monitor there. And like I said, it'll all look nice when it's all done. And then back here, uh, you can see right there, I've got uh, the keyboards plugged in. I'll be using a wireless keyboard so we won't have all these cables. But like I said, this HDMI cable, 
when we get the ribbon one it'll be flat it'll go up inside there won't look ugly like that i've got the right usb cable there for the uh, optical drive this will kind of go on this here like so and that'll clean that up in the back there so the only thing you're going to see is the io ports when we're all done and then i got another cover that i'm making that will even hide all that uh later on so yeah guys so we're we're getting there um so what we're gonna do is the next time you see this this will all be complete we will do a world premiere on it we'll do it uh, live there and um and then after the the world premiere we'll do a question and answer on it there and uh yeah so it's coming along really good i'm very pleased how this thing's working here Hey guys, so anyway, this has been a quick update here. Um, and like I said, this monitor is just hanging in there by a thread here. I'm going to leave it down here because I don't want to drop it on the floor. That would not be good. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to look fantastic when it's done. Like I said, we will do a live premiere on it. And then after the premiere, we'll do a question and answer. Any questions you might have on it. And then I'll go over all the specs on it and everything with you. And uh, yeah, guys, so anyway, uh, I think this has come along quite nicely. Like I said, it'll be nice when I get everything all buttoned up on it here. So this has been another episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.